Hello there. Let's take a look at creating a universe in the information design tool. And uh, we'll be using uh, MS Access database for our demo today. I will start off with creating an ODBC connection mentioned here and then go ahead and create a project within the information design tool and go on all the way to publishing the universe on the repository. So what I have here for my client operating system is Windows 7. And so I'm going to go into ODBC CAD 32 EXE, go to System DSN, click on Add, SQL Server, sorry, Access, Microsoft Access, the MDB driver. Let's call it a Sales Demo, My Sales Demo. And here is where I have my database. It's salesdata.mdb. Click on OK. And OK here. OK. And uh, let's take a quick look at the schema. And while we do that, let me open up the information design tool. Business objects 4.0 information design tool. While that's opening up, here's a quick look at the schema. It's uh, pretty simple. A star schema where I have one sales fact table, uh, one, one fact table, and three dimension tables. So in the fact table, I have uh, IDs to the uh, columns uh, mapping to the three dimension tables here country, item, and date. I will leave one row in the date for now. And for my facts, I have, I mean, for the measures on the facts, I have only one column at the moment, which is my sales amount. Let's go ahead and see if the information design tool has opened up. So here it is, the information design tool, wherein we will create our universe, which is nothing but a semantic layer for your database. And... Uh, so we go ahead and say file, new, project, let's call it my sales, uh, since I have the name already there, I'm going to call this my sales uh, universe. Okay, go into my sales universe next and create a connection you could do that from here by right clicking and then going new or you could do it from here file new we create a relational connection that's that's what we have here at the moment a relational database so resource name my sales universe connection Microsoft, I have a 2003 database, so Microsoft ODBC driver, next, test the connection, I have no username password, so test the connection, it's working fine, click on finish, that gives me my connection, next I will go ahead and create a Data foundation. So new data foundation. My sales universe data foundation. Single source. We're not going to go. We have multiple source for this demo. Uh, when I go ahead with that, it gives me the list of connections that are available in my project. Here I have only one, so I select that connection and say finish. That gives me the data foundation and this is showing me the connection for my data foundation. I go to the next tab down here, which is data now foundation. And then you see it has zero tables, so let's go ahead and insert all the tables that you see your sales fact country dimension item dimension and date dimension so i right click here say insert tables and i'm going to select 
sales fact, item, date, and country dimension. Okay. Let's bring the sales fact in the middle so it does look like a star schema. The date ID goes to the date ID. The way to join is uh, you would actually click on a column in the first table left click and then go all the way to the other table and then just kind of drop the mouse over there and leave it which would automatically create the join another way to create the join is right click and say insert join and select the two tables here sales fact and what have we got left item them select the two columns here and you should say detect the cardinality uh, and it will come back with 1 to n n to 1 between the sales fact and item dim so for each record in the item table dim table that could be n records in the fact table multiple records in the fact table basically same way let's go ahead and detect the cardinality for the other two tables also other two joints I mean so we could click on the join and say action and detect cardinalities and it detected the similar cardinality for these tables also which is n to 1 between the fact and dimension table we go I press on control s or you could to save or you could do it from here now the next step as mentioned here we will go ahead and create the business layer so right click here and say new business layer relational data source my sales universe select the data foundation again I have only one data foundation I'm gonna say automatically create classes and objects which you do not want to do if you have way too many tables I did that because I have only four tables here and what I'm gonna do is actually delete the sales fact class and recreate it so you can see how we can do that and by the way a class is a grouping of objects and objects are the individual uh, objects that you see here country region and country name for them example and let's go ahead and create a new class for the sales fact table so we right click here and say new folder I'm going to call it uh, measures and uh, ideally what I need here is only the amount column now what are measures measures are basically those columns from your database on which you're going to do some kind of a calculation let's say a sum or average or whatever kind of calculation you want to do but anything on which you want to do a calculation should be a measure and the rest should be a dimension and dimensions are basically the blue objects that you see here I right click on my measure and say I mean on the dimension here and say turn into measure now uh, all the measures you ideally want some aggregation happening on them and in this case we are going to say sum it up so just save that again here so this so as you see the measures are the little orange or is it orange yellow orange icon that you see here and uh, the dimensions are the blue ones so once this is done your first universe is actually almost ready and uh, what we will do is for the sake of not depending on the server I'm going to publish this universe locally on my machine so that I can go in and do some reporting on it so I'm going to say publish instead of saying to repository which is on the server I'm going to say to local folder I'm going to check integrity which is always a good idea to do okay actually check all and then do check integrity okay the tables are missing a primary key which is okay for now and I'm going to say next it will show you the path where it's publishing the universe locally and Finish. Actually, before I do finish, 
I'll show you later. Let's do finish for now. Let's say finish and it says universe published successfully. I will say close and uh, once that's done, you should be able to go into, uh, let's say, Web Intelligence as one of the reporting tools and do your reporting. So we go in here, business objects for auto, and go to Web Intelligence Rich Client. While that's opening up, let's uh, go in and look at. Where the universe got published. I think users ready app data roaming SAP business objects for auto universes and yeah this is where it got published. So if I were to click on date modified I should have one from today uh, so basically a unx file is the universe and uh, this file is the one that encapsulates together the connection information it has the data foundation information within it and the business layer all those three things put together is what your unx file is let's see where our web intelligence is and it's still coming up okay so we go ahead and create a new document uh, it's already there actually so let me select more. I think this sales universe is an older one. What was the name of the one that I have now? It's my sales universe. Okay, let me make sure I. So there we go, my sales universe. Select. And there is the universe structure with the four classes that we had created here and all the objects within. Now, uh, we will just go ahead and pull in region name, country name, date year, item name, amount, and uh, let us try and run this. I did not put in any filters because we have very little data and what are here is your data from your first report and uh, let's just give this some name my first page report as that uh, yeah, you see in a little thing on the format and all that I'll try and talk about that in the next class I in the next demo my first okay let me show you what i did again actually save click on save here and save this as my first report now uh, initially what i did here was i published my universe locally on my client machines so that I do not have much dependency or any dependency on the XI 4.0 I mean business objects 4.0 server and so uh, what we're gonna do here next is actually publish this on the server and uh, for that to publish something on a server publish a universe on a server you need what is called a secure connection basically you cannot use this connection you need to publish the connection first to the server so let's right click here and say publish to repository on the connection I am gonna select one of the servers that I have here and enter the password here say connect which gives me the which gives me the various folders to which I could publish a connection. I'm going to publish it under a particular folder that I have created earlier. And I'm going to say finish. Now, once this is done, it's going to say the connection was published successfully. Do you want to create a shortcut to the same locally? You should say yes. 
So that is what will give you this CNS file, which is not actually the short uh, connection, but a shortcut to your connection on the server. Now, before you publish the universe, you need to change your connection to use the connection on the server instead of the local one that you have here. So what you could do here is go back to your data foundation, go to the connections tab, click on this icon here that says change connection. Now you see how the CNX one is selected. Now we have to go and select the CNS one, the secured connection. Say OK. Click on save so your data foundation is saved. Once that is done, now your business layer is actually pointing to the data foundation which has a secure connection. So you can go ahead and publish your universe on the repository onto the server. So right click on the universe, say public to publish to repository. And I'm going to skip the integrity check. I'm going to again use a particular folder that I have here and say finish. And that will publish your universe onto the repository. There you go. And now to use the universe on the repository, for example, through web intelligence, there's this other video that I have, uh, which you could take a look at. Again, it's a video for beginners with web intelligence. Uh, uh, also, initially, when you do create the data foundation, you do not necessarily need to do it locally. That is, you don't need to use the CNX file. In the beginning itself, you could publish the CNX file, and then when creating the data foundation, you go in here, create a data foundation, give it a name, uh, test data foundation, and go next, single source, and there itself you would select the secure connection. But again, I did uh, select the local one, so in the beginning we could do it all locally and have less dependency on the server. Uh, that's it. Uh, hopefully uh, this was helpful. Feel free to leave me your comments, and uh, I look forward to giving you folks more recordings soon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching.